In this video, we are going to discuss inverse jet transform method that is one important method of inverse jet transform to get the inverse jet transform that is the long division method. So, long division method to get the inverse jet transform. So, here the long division method is just like normal division. For example, if you are given with x of z, z transform is given and if you are asked to find out what is the inverse z transform. You know the inverse z transform of z by z minus 1 by 2, but without that shortcut formulas if you want to consider the inverse z transform then you can use your long division method. Here z transform is given with the ROC mod z greater than 1 that mod z greater than 1 will show you that is a causal system. So, that is a causal system and here the transform is z by z minus 1 by 2. Now, you can see how you will do normal division. Generally, we will consider like normal division z minus 1 by 2 I am considering like 0.5 or 1 by 2 also you can consider for my convenience I am considering like 0.5. So, here it goes for one time. So, z minus 0.5. So, I am going to change the signs minus plus already minus is there I am writing plus here plus is there I written minus. Once I change the sign in every step I need to go for sign change. So, z z is going to cancel I will get 0.5 here. So, see here this 0.5 I need to get rid by using z only please keep in mind that is the only point. So, here I am multiplying that one time that means z into 0.5 z inverse for example, if I multiply like this 0.5 z inverse 0.5 z inverse if I consider then z into z inverse will vanish and the remaining is 0.5 that is very important we need to make every step by taking the reference of this maximum polynomial of z that is very important point. So, you can make z minus 0.5 into 1 also it is going to cancel this 0.5, but we cannot like, take like that in this method. So, you need to take reference of z every time with this z only you need to evaluate each and every step. So, if I consider 0.5 z inverse time then this z will become 0.5. So, minus 0.5 into 0.5, 0.25 z inverse. Again, I am going to sign change. So, these two are going to cancel. The remaining is 0.25 z inverse. Again, to get 0.2 z inverse, how will take 0.25 z inverse or uh, how much you need to consider? Already here z is there, you need to get 0.25 z inverse. So, that is why z power minus 2. So, if you multiply z into 0.25 z power minus 2, you are going to get 0.25 z inverse. So, here 0.25 z power z inverse minus 0.5 into 0.25, you are going to get some value 0.5 into that means 1 by 2 into 1 by 4, 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 means so 8, 1 by 8 into z power minus 2. That means 0 0.10 something, 1 2 something you will get, 0 0.12 something you will get. So, here 1 by 8 z power minus 2, this process will continue. You are going to get continuous values here. So, whatever you got as your coefficient, that you need to consider and you need to consider the coefficients as x of n. So, here x of n is equivalent to, so 1 comma 0.5 comma 0.25 and so on. So, this is your signal, this is inverse transform of this. So, here you can observe if you want to write in terms of n, if you want to write this summation, so you can see this is all positive sided, I am going to write like this. So, I am going to write like this 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. I am going to write like this. Why? Because 
if i substituted 0 where n is equivalent to 0 1 2 3 so on u of n itself represents this no need to write this so when n equivalent to 0 1 by 2 whole power n means 1 by 2 whole power 0 u of n is equivalent to 1 one when n equivalent to 1 1 by 2 into u of n that means 0 0.5 into 1 0 0.5 so 1 by 2 whole power 2 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 you are going to get this thing so the inverse transform is 1 by 2 whole power n u of n by general method also generally also you know the inverse transform of z by z minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 whole power n u of n so like this way like by using this long division method you can calculate the inverse transform now here i will give you two important points when you are dealing with this uh, long division method inverse transform so when system is causal that means when mod z greater than 1 you need to consider descending powers of z or ascending powers of z inverse if system ROC is mod z less than 1 that means non causal if the system is non causal you need to consider the given function in ascending powers of z or descending powers of z inverse that is very important so here for example for this system if you see mod z greater than 1 is there mod z greater than 1 this is a causal system so we need to consider descending powers of z i consider z for example any x of z is given like this x of z is equal to some um, z plus z square by z cube plus 3 like this is given so how we can consider 3 plus z cube 3 plus z plus z cube so like this they give an x of z. So, for this also we can go for long division method. But when they said mod z greater than 1, you need to consider this x of z as descending powers of z or ascending powers of z inverse. They given in terms of z. If they given in terms of z, then you need to consider descending powers of z. You do not take like this for a division do not take 3 plus z, uh, z plus z cube in division like that. So, you just consider this as z square plus z right descending powers of z, z square after z and z cube plus z plus 3 now perform the division. For example, they given like this x of x of z is equal to x of z is equal to z power z square plus z cube z plus 1 divided by z power 4 plus 2 they given like this and they told the ROC is mod z less than 1 this is anti causal system and given in z domain so you need to consider ascending powers of z when you are performing the long division method that means you need to consider ascending powers of z you need to increase the powers not decrease the powers they given in decreasing but they given that is a non causal system so here you need to consider you need to rewrite the equation like this and then you need to perform the long division method otherwise you are going to get the wrong answers the general long division method will be like this so i consider this simple example you can uh, you can get uh, problems in any textbook using long division method but this is a very simple method but only things you need to follow is so every time you need to take the reference of z which i considered at first and after that this point is very important so if that is causal you need to consider the equation in descending powers of z or ascending powers of z inverse if they given in terms of z inverse the system is given in terms of z inverse then you can take ascending powers of z inverse if the system is given in terms of z then you need to consider descending powers of z for example system is non causal how you can say system is non causal by this roc so if the system is non causal then you you need to consider the ascending powers of z or 
descending powers of z inverse that point is very important after rewriting the equation you need to perform like this you are going to get the better result in the next class we will discuss another method partial fraction or direct calculation method for inverse z transform